today we look at factors and multiples. We also discover how to find factors and how to find multiples of a number. First up, what are factors? Factors are numbers you can multiply together to get another number. So in this example, if we look at 4 and 3, we know that 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Now because 4 and 3 both go into 12, they are factors of 12 and 12 is the multiple. So if 12 can be divided by a certain number, then you know that that number is a factor. We could give the values 6 and 2. We know that 6 and 2 multiplied together give us 12. So again, we have a factor and a factor, and we have 12 as the multiple. What about 21? We know that 1 multiplied by 21 is 21. So again, we have some more examples of factors. We have 1, 21, 3, and 7. So let's discover how to find factors. We will follow our three-step process. So first up, we have the factors of 16. Start with 1 and the number itself. So we have 1 multiplied by 16. How about 2? So step 2, check divisibility. 2 multiplied by 8. What about 3? No, 3 does not go into 16. What about 4? Yes, 4 multiplied by 4. Our second rule says test each number from 2 up to the square root of the number. Now 4 is the square root of 16, we don't need to test any more values. So our factors of 16 are, what about our next question, factors of 100. So we start with 1 multiplied by 100, then 2 multiplied by 50. Does 3 go into 100? No. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 6? No. 7? No. 8? Does 8 go into 100? No, it doesn't. 9? 10? Yes. 10 is the square root of 100. We don't need to go any further. All of these factor pairs include factors of 100. Finding multiples. So again, we have a three-step process. We start with the number, we multiply by our integers, then we list the results. So we see the question requests the first three multiples of 10. So what is 10 multiplied by 1? 10. 10 multiplied by 2? Multiplied by 3? And we are done. What about our next question? The first four multiples of 150. So 150 multiplied by 1? 150 multiplied by 2? 150 multiplied by 3? 150 multiplied by 4? And there we have our first four multiples of 150. Progress check. We follow the same steps. Let's go. Factors of 120. Let's do our factor pairs. So we have all our factor pairs on the right hand side. All of these in pink. Now to save time, I'm not going to write out all of those numbers, but we know all of those pink numbers are factors of 120. Next question. First four multiples of 120. We start with the number 120. That's our first multiple of 120 because 120 multiplied by 1 is 120. Then 120 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 4. And there we have our first four multiples of 120. So you guys now know what factors are and you know what multiples are. And you know how to find factors and how to find multiples. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Casey at One Tree. If you like the content, please remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like some online tutoring, please email me at onetreemath at gmail.com. Cheers.